What's happening, family? Y'all know we back in this thing with another one, man. As you know, uh, we got a few things to talk about, man. We got that man Fox and Mill, and we got that man Charleston White, big head. As these men have been having a back and forth and whatnot, man. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Wipe your feet as you come in the door. Go add me on Instagram at all facts, King KO, all lowercase. And Fox starts it off by informing the people to go get their popcorn now because he woke. Then shares it back and forth between him and Charleston White, where Charleston starts it out. Dude, you can get it too, tough guy. To which he responds, I'm on your ASS, like your back pocket. Stay tuned in the studio as we speak. And Charleston responds again and says, I don't like none of you rapping A dudes. Man, hey, you don't seem like somebody you don't like rap, man, because every time you on a live or something, man, you show to be paying these men's music, don't you? I mean, I just be confused about all that, you feel me? But then, you know, Fox captions this with, you done effed up, Mr. Charleston White. I'm in the studio all night for your A. Let it be known that he dropping a new this song for Charleston. Then puts up this pic of him in uniform and captions this with, watch what you asked for, Mr. Charleston White. I took what you said personal and you threw Big Head the Dome Doctor in it. So he got some words for you too. Produced, y'all see the producer right there. And then he puts up this video clip of Charleston White actually knocking his music and whatnot. <laughs> And see, this is where Tootie Raw comes in because Fox and Mill responds to this video by saying, you making this too easy, Charleston. I'm lost for words. Hashtag bad boys dropping soon. So Tootie Raw get whiff for that. And uh, he hops in the comment section to give Fox and Mill a message. And he says, he going to tell on you. Speaking about Charleston White with the laughing emojis and whatnot. So you see a little tag team right there. Well, I guess you can't even say tag team because big head has something to say as well you feel me but we all know the back and forth that occurred not too long ago between Tootie Raw, T.I., King, Boosie versus Charleston White so it's no surprise that Tootie Raw would pop in like this talking down on Charleston you feel me but like I said man Big Head the Dome Doctor has some things to say as well and like we just showed they said it was coming out with a diss song so Big Head the Dome Doctor went ahead and previewed his part, which was over the beat of Tupac's infamous song, Hit Him Up. Check this out. You was in sales, stick sucking dicks, you heard me? You think the past ain't gonna catch up with you? But I'm on your ass, and it's your ass right there. You already know what's in for you, you heard me? You ain't cool, you ain't hip, you ain't down, you ain't shit like that boy Dwayne Sun trying to girl up on some dick. You and you family is shit. You wouldn't accept this when you said you got the same hair. Respectful. Whoa. Hey, that man flash. Hey, he said that man Dewberry popped his. Y'all know what? Y'all, what rhyme with that? The fruit that rhyme with that. Hey, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. That man said you was in cell six. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to tell you, big head. That man will. He's smacking fools for talking about Jada. He mentioned Jada too. But that wasn't near from that man, Big Head. He also spoke on this situation that popped out with Just Too Hilarious. I believe that's her name. The Black Queen with 5.5 million Instagram followers and her brand. I'm sure it's probably in the tens of millions. But yeah, she said something about Jamie Foxx and the cloning situation. 
to which Big Head responded. We're going to check out what she said first, and then we'll dive into Big Head's response. Shit that's going on with Jamie Foxx. Yeah, like, no, I think that's that is crazy. Like, because I feel like they cloned him. Like, I don't clone, care. Clone yes, Jamie they cloned Jamie Foxx. You don't think they cloned him? No. Come on, Jazz. Really? No. No, I don't. Do you know how much it costs to clone a person? And I don't know. I'm thinking maybe 500 gajillion dollars. And you think they got that kind of money to waste on Jamie Foxx? Another n I'm sorry, black person, whatever you want to call it. Ain't nobody white cloned it, no n The government owned it, by the way. You know, the clone machine is not black owned. You know, that would be a great experiment for us. Ain't nobody. They've been trying to get rid of n since the beginning of the dumb. I don't care how many white women Jamie did. They ain't about to clone him. You think they just sitting around like, you know what? We need another Jamie. They not. The Django was great. They ain't cloning that n I'm sorry. I don't. I don't. Y'all get a government way too much. And let me start off by saying this, family. You know, I rock with her content from what I've seen. You know, I don't know really too much about her, but I have seen her on the internet when I popped on here. When I seen him at her, I went through her page and looked at a few of her videos and whatnot. And she seems like an authentic person who really speaks her mind. So, hey, I respect anybody who is authentic. But right here, I don't really feel like she was being authentic seemed like she was doing a little bit of damage control i mean let's just be a hundred you know when you think about it queen who would they want to clone the most if you do not like someone but that person you do not like has influence over the globe in which you want to have total control over because as we all know that is the absolute goal of the people who are in a position of power is to have total control you feel me well the people that they dislike the most are the ones who truly have the minds of the globe everything that those people do the world tends to follow you feel me like the scriptures told us everybody would follow judah you know the big brother he also let us know that he will raise us up in the land of our oppressor which gives contribution towards that influence Black people are now becoming billionaires, something we ain't seen in multiple centuries. You feel me? Which lets us know as well that black people are the tribe of Judah, but that's a different truth for a different day. What I am saying is if you want to reach your ultimate goal of total control, you would need to use the people who have the most influence as puppets. And at this point, Queen, it's kind of common knowledge that they utilize people in this manner. There have been so many different celebrities who have came out and spoke publicly about being utilized as a puppet to do bidding for, you know, certain groups. Now, do they ever expose those groups? Very rarely, but we kind of get the gist of it all. You feel me? But on that same note, there's a problem with doing it that way because people typically become rebellious, especially when you're talking about black people. As most people do on earth have a conscious, black people's conscious runs a little bit more deep because our parents are taught to parent with an iron rod. You feel me? So to have complete and total control over what it is your ultimate goal is to have control over the world, you would first need to control their cultural icons. So to control those cultural icons, you would need to eradicate the specimen, then recreate that specimen in that same image that way the influence that that person garnered you can now control so aka in other words a clone and what better person to clone than jamie fox a person who is a cultural icon been in the business for what going on 30 years that man is one of the most well-known faces on the planet so many people want to be like him the man is so multi-talented he can rap sing act dance he's a comedian what is there that Jamie Foxx does not do? He has made corporations billions. So when you're talking about the financial aspect of it all, the man is worth recreating. But hey, this is what Big Head the Dome Doctor had to say about it. Check this out. Shout out to Just Her Lips, Just Hilarious, for um the comment about the clone situation, you heard me? But um, I'm gonna say this. Me, my personal opinion, I think Jamie Foxx is a clone. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because 
A lot of black people, a lot of people love Jamie Foxx. I love Jamie Foxx, you know what I'm saying? I got a chance to shake his hand one time. I definitely love Jamie Foxx. I'm, you know, I'm a big fan of his. He's a good comedian. He's a good singer, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to Jamie Foxx. But you have to understand, as a black person, you black, um, just, just hilarious, you black, I'm black. You heard me? I might be blacker than you, but we both black, and we can agree on this. When a black person gets sick or goes to jail or anything like that, and they have any type of celebrity status, they're going to definitely put it out there. The media is going to put it out there. So, with that being said, when that black person shake back or come home or get well or whatever it is the first thing they do is address the people you feel me they come and say yeah man i had a scare i'm all right you heard me this is how i went but i'm okay or i went to jail i'm out i'm gonna do better you heard me like it don't matter if it's ja morant or ja rule they gonna come out and say what the situation was and address it for what it is but when you don't do that like when gucci went to jail he got out and he went back the same day now i know that felt bad but he never got back out and addressed that what happened and i'm back out no he didn't and um look at al pacino and robert de niro why? I ain't never heard of no white person cloning no white people. I always hear about black people getting cloned. So I don't I don't see so what you're saying, you're really trying to confuse people because the clone machine is for black people. Definitely. So but I'm glad you know about the clone machine because now that you done moved up in life, some people look at what you say and take it as facts. So you spoke on the clone machine, so now we know it is the clone machine. So shout out to you for giving us the game about the clone machine. But I never heard of no white clone. I always heard of blacks. Now I've heard of the movie the clone, I mean the clone heads or whatever that was, but that don't got nothing to do with clones. So all the clones I heard about was black. I heard about Gucci Man clone. I heard about Rick Ross clone. I heard about Kodak Black clone i heard about a few other people clones but i'm definitely feeling like jamie fox because he got a lot of moves he got to continue making that they clone the man if not jamie fox come on address the people address the camera look dead in the camera and we'll know you know you can't fool your fans you can't fool the people that love you so shout out to Jess Her Lips. Keep doing your thing. You're doing good. But, uh, you know, like everybody got their own opinion. But, you know, when people look up to you from you speaking facts and you talking about clones and who not clones and the white people got the clone machine and all that, man, no, man. They only clone blacks. They don't need to clone white people. They live long as they want to live. When they die, they ready to die. They don't got nothing else they got to do. I told you, look at Al Pacino, Robert De Niro. It could be your baby daddy, 90 something years old. Clone them for what? Clone share for what? You heard me? They here. You heard me? Clone Dolly Parton for what? Clone Taylor Swift for what? They here. But guess what? It's the blacks that's passing. You heard me like they knew they knew Mike impact was big enough to just keep going. They didn't even need to clone him. Same thing with Prince, same thing with Whitney Houston. Some of them they ain't even say we don't even need to clone them. Nah, they we can use mirages or you know guest appearance, other people, they gonna do what they do. But some of them that's that they business unfinished, I feel like my opinion that they clone them. You heard me? So that's why I say. My dude, my little brother, Boosie, badass need a clone. So when they go to trying to blame stuff on him or go to saying, oh, he had a gun, he had a gun. Oh, that was the clone, man. That was the clone. So, you know, like I say, man, shout out to all the clones out there. I'm original, man. They ain't going to clone me. I'm unclonable. 
But um, this your boy Big Head the Dome Doctor, and I just wanted to hop on here because you know, just her lips was down bad for saying that about the cloning situation, speaking on that like it was all facts and all this, like the clone machine real and the white 